Howdy folks, John here. Hopefully doing a quick DIY repair video on this little Woods fan timer switch. Oh, it doesn't have to be a fan, it could be anything. I love these little switches. Uh, they're great for bathroom fans, that's what uh, this is being used for. And uh, they come in different uh, values. This is a 60 minute, I think they also have a 30 minute. Very simple and easy to use. There's a little button on them. When you press it, it turns the device on that they're timing and they've got different increments and each time you press the button in sequence these different time increments will come up so you can select how long you want the device to stay turned on and then once the time is reached it turns off automatically very useful little things this one however is crapped out so if you have got a woods uh, timer switch like this and it's doing the same thing that i'm going to show you in a bit uh, hopefully we can diagnose it and uh, fix it these are very easy to wire up. You've got a white neutral that goes to your neutral, of course, a black hot, green ground, and then the red wire is the switched output. And these use a little relay. Work really well. Let's get into it. Right, so I've just got it powered up, hot to black, white to neutral, and I've just turned the light off so you can see the little LED indicators. When it's off, there's just a little red coming on. And then when you hit this button, the different timers should show up in sequence. For whatever you select but as you can see it's not working it just clicks you can hear the relay inside clicking but it's not staying on luckily let me just turn this off luckily these are easy to open up they've just got four phillips screws on the back they're not glued shut or anything so fairly easy to service hopefully Okay, so not much to them. There's our control relay. We've got some rectification in here, some moths, but I don't know if you can see this. We've got, come on, focus. Can I bring this light over? Ah, now that makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? There's a resistor in there that is burnt its guts out. It looks like it's cracked in half. So uh, we'll presume that might be what the problem is. Of course, with it being burnt like that, it's going to be hard to find what the value is. Looks like this board is just screwed in with a single screw, so we'll get it out. So no real apparent problems on the back side of the board. You can tell it's been getting warm though where that resistor is. Kind of looks like they've used an undervalued wattage-wise resistor. We'll desolder it and see if there's any way we can get a value off of it. Well, the little bugger came out in one piece, but of course the candy coating has been completely burnt off. So no uh, color bands to tell what value it is. Uh, all that's left is the carbon pile with the two end caps. But it obviously is showing a resistance because it is intact. 2.5K, uh, I don't think there is a 2.5K in half watt resistors, which is what this is. Uh, closest would be 2.4. When carbon resistors get really hot and burnt like this, the resistance usually increases a little bit. That's why I'm guessing it's 2.4. Might even be 2.2. I just checked through my resistor bin. I don't have a 2.4, but I do have a 2.2 we can use. So one thing I did notice on the board, because that resistor got so hot, the trace on the back of the board had come completely off. Uh, the closest thing I've got is a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor if this ever focuses and I've soldered it in getting the contact points you know that pad had come off on the back uh, didn't help at all did the same thing so I just went upstream of that because when you get flashing intermittent it's like it's not powering up or whatever that can be a classic sign of a bad capacitor so on the other side of our burnt resistor we had a 100 microfarad electrolytic in there. Now I've taken it out to test it. It doesn't look bad. You know, there's no bulging or anything. 
but as you can see, the value is horrible. 0.92 nanofarads, not even a full microfarad, and it's supposed to be 100, so let's fire a new cap in. Found a capacitor of the same values, 100 microfarad, 50 volt. As you can see, this one is reading correctly. Let's fire it in. So the new capacitor is in and the 2.2 uh, kilo ohm resistor. I haven't lowered it right onto the board uh, like the previous one. I figure because these are getting so warm, uh, it's best to elevate it a bit. And I'm almost guessing that's what took the capacitor out. The lead on that resistor was getting so hot that a lot of the heat was migrating right into the capacitor. Just a guess, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, let's power it up. So, little red LED is on. And it is working. So if you're like me, probably wondering how hot that little resistor is getting. About 110 Celsius. Fairly warm. What's interesting though is when you turn the actual timer on, that value drops substantially. Ideally, I think this is an undersized resistor. It looks like it's probably a half watt that was in there and there's certainly room to fit a one watt resistor in. So uh, may try that too. All back together, powered up. Working again. So if you've got a woods timer switch and it's doing that funny clicky thing. Uh, you might want to check it out, see if the resistor is burnt and that capacitor is shot. Be interesting to know if that's a common problem with these. I can't tell you how old this thing is. I think it's about 10 years old. But again, I think that uh, resistor is definitely undervalued. Thanks for watching folks and until next time, happy repairs. Don't light yourselves on fire. Saved from the landfill.